there, there's something else here too about being a somatic movement teacher. I mean, I would really encourage, and I, I always have, no matter what kind of movement modality I've been teaching, that you need to be your own first client. <laughs> but really, if you're going to offer somatic work, it's so, so imperative that you take yourself into the journey and the processes yourself over and over and over and over again, because essentially that's where your guiding comes from. It comes from your experience. Sure, we can learn skills, we can have ideas and concepts and theories and all of these things, and we do, and we like those, and we use those. But if you are not able to infuse those with your own experience of being in somatic process, there's gonna be a real disconnect here because we need to have had the experience ourselves of journeying into our own inner wilderness, um, sleuthing around, slithering around. That's how I've been feeling it lately, slithering around, right? And what, what, what comes up for you when you do? What's that discovery? What's that like? It's you being able to hold that space within yourself that then to offer so that you can offer it to others. Oh, the, so the, today the, the work can be raw and can really bring us to our knees. However, hopefully what you're also finding in the work um, in terms of the somatic way is that you always have choice of how much to take on at any one time and that it's okay to meet something in the exploration and be like, hey, yeah, not today, but I'll come back. We'll, we'll hang out, Let, let's do it next season. Okay, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a commitment to saying, hey, one day or another time or when I have more resource or when I don't have all of this other life happening, I'm going to come back here, right? And mm -hmm. to then be able to, what we did today, you know, pendulate back to resource and, and know that simultaneous to the hard work and the discomfort, there's also joy and grace and connection and that that's here too at the same time and that's one thing that i appreciate so much about somatic practice is that and both and that we can really start to with these skills of practice move between them and choose you know when we're going to engage with what and how and yeah, so di digestion is really important in this process too, and the you know the somatic technique that um, that that correlates to is augmented rest, and we did some of that today, right? So we can bring that kind of practice into we can bring augmented rest into our movement practice. We can remind ourselves, oh, move and rest, move and rest, and what I find is when I um, and intentionalize the move and rest kind of phrasing in my movement practice, it does translate then into my life. Well, and I, I appreciate that too, because I think many of us are called to teaching because this is how we're the best student, right? Or sharing this kind of work because it this is how we're the best student because we're participating with what we're teaching. And so it's actually reciprocating back into us. So that's also very powerful, right? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, and just to say that this last practice that we did, I wanted to give an example of how to use, you know, the, the, um, the document that we opened up with in terms of, you know, nervous system downregulation with somatic movement, a way to use that um, document into practice. So either checking in with yourself or you're checking in with a client or you have a group of students and you're just kind of like taking in the climate of, of the group a question of like, oh, okay, what would be the best way for me to help people enter a practice? What would be the best way for me to help this person enter the experience I'm about ready to offer, right? And what kind of movement techniques or somatic techniques could I offer right now to then come into a few minutes of yielding and then we begin, right? It's kind of like, I think about it sometimes as, you know, walking in the door and you take off your your shoes and you take off your coat and you hang your bag or your purse or whatever you have, maybe your gloves, things like that, right? And then you come in, you come into a space like, what, what is that like? To me, that's the drop in. <sighs> oh, okay, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. Um, just kind of like a, a rock or yeah, a little magic stone that 
I want all of you to carry with you while you're in this program of IMS with you is that these are all, these are all doorways, they're all opportunities. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're all part of a story, but inevitably what my hope and desire is for each of you is that you playfully interact with these things and continue to create what it is that you're here to do. I'm not offended by you shifting and changing or updating or taking out or adding to. That's This program is here for each of us. We all have different ways that we're working with people. This program is here as a kind of like a web that we can all commonly come in and participate together with and have some kind of like universal principles and elements, ideas, however you want to name those that we agree upon that are important. And then yeah, create, paint, draw, dance, weave, 